it's great to have these machines in place. They do change the way we do things. I, I love to wake up in the middle of the night and, and think the machines are running and we're, we're turning out parts and we're making money. So that's great to, to know. I think the name Matsura means quality, precision. A lot of people, when you say you've got Matsura, they go, OK, I understand what you've got and I'm confident to give you the work. So I'm James Gazard, I'm the Managing Director here at Wes Engineering Solutions. We're a precision subcontract engineering company based in Cornwall and supply to multiple sectors around the UK. So for us, over the last few years, there's been a bigger drop off in our automotive sector work that we used to do. Um, so we're diversifying into different um, sectors. Aerospace and defence is our particular focus. We also do a lot of oil and gas and, and various other sectors to be fair, but uh, aerospace and defence is the area we're particularly looking to get involved in which is why we've invested in these Matsura machines. Uh, we bought a multi-pallet H Plus machine a couple of years ago. We've now moved on, because of the success of that machine, we've moved on to the five axis machine in, in the last uh, 12 months or so. And um, that, those are really help, helping us to drive into those sectors where we're moving into sort of from small batch production into sort of medium product, batch production, um, giving us increased accuracy, uh, better cycle times and um, better ability to deliver to customers on time and, and in a good, a, a good price. We've uh, recently done our um, stage two AS9100 audit. We've um, signed up to the West of England Aerospace Forum. We're part of Make UK Defence because we're also looking at the defence sector. And we've just uh, are trying to get Cyber Essentials Plus as well. So these machines have moved us into those markets and now we're putting everything in, in place in the background to be able to um, support the, the, those customers. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Group Sales Manager. I joined WES in March. I come from a, a precision engineering background, predominantly focused on aerospace. The last three years were within Airbus. Uh, I got some really good contacts within there. I understand what they do, how they do it, and I'd like to bring all that to WES if I can. So the Matsura machines are a high accuracy, high tolerance machine center. Um, they work really well for the fact that they have multiple pallets on them. So you are not standing in front of them for long periods of time setting them up. You've got lots of runtime where it can be done without the need for somebody to be stood at the machine. So we recently did this component here, which was a top mount for a motorsport Porsche. Um, and with the complex geometry and features on it, you wouldn't have managed it on a conventional machine. We had another five axis machine in the past, but we struggled with the faces all matching up and meeting up when you were doing the machining. So we've been lucky enough with the Matsura that when we take this component out, we have all of the finishes that we require, that there is a very little need for manual dressing once we finish. The guys are really excited by the, the latest, working with the latest technology and, and seeing the machines doing all the latest stuff that, that the previous machines couldn't do. So it, it's been a real step up for us and we're really excited for the future. So skills are a real challenge for us. We invest heavily in our apprentice programme. We've got seven or eight apprentices here and, and almost half the workforce has been apprentice trained at some point in the past. So that's really important to us. And that's because the skills just aren't available locally and to be fair nationally as well. And that's another reason why we've invested in the Matsura machines because of the automation and because of that switch to, we want to train our guys to be higher skilled, higher paid, better, better jobs. Um, and that's the, the route we want to go down. They're very user-friendly machines. They're easy to get on with. The operators understand how the controllers work. Everything is, is designed around a user interface, so it's not complicated. They understand what it's doing, and they're easy to use. Because of the, the way the machines are set up with being able to access multiple faces of the component, it saves on your downtime between operations. So. They do help us in that respect. So you can set it up, you can run multiple faces and do more of a component in one hit rather than taking it down, resetting it, moving it onto another machine. So I think from Wes's point of view, it does help us with continuity between the component being manufactured. 
So when I'm out visiting customers, it's much easier to explain to them our capacity and what we've got available based on showing them these machines. The, the customers are then a lot happier to talk to you about more complex components and batch work because they know that you've got machines that are capable of doing it rather than just saying, I'd like to quote you on this component and then they think, well, how are you going to produce it? Wes as a company, we've got a, a very diverse background in people but also machines. We've not just got general milling, we've gone for high-end precision milling, we've got turn-in capacity with live tooling, we've got spark erosion, wire erosion, grinding. So from a sales point of view, going out and selling Wes is easy because we are a one-stop solution. We've not just offering you part of a process. We can say to you, we'll have your component and we can do it from start to finish. Our future absolutely includes more Matsuras, hopefully. Um, that's, that's the way we want to go. I've got to convince the shareholders to, uh, to keep investing, but as it stands, we're, we're ambitious. We want to keep growing the company. In the next few years, we'd see investment into our milling section, hopefully into our lathe section and elsewhere in the factory. So we're now able to produce components that we weren't able to do with our previous machines or would have taken several operations through several different machines which would have been, it not, wouldn't have been cost effective. So we're, we're now, now able, particularly with the five axis machine, to be able to produce components that are much more complex. With the H plus we're producing in, in much quicker times and we're machining lights out so that's reducing costs and, and improving the accuracy, reducing the need for second ops for any for reworks, reducing NCR costs improving inspection times. Across the board, it's making improvements to, to uh, the way we work.